Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. So this was yesterday's video as Evolutionary uh, came out of the timeout box and we were able to post over there. Uh, again, we want to thank everybody for their support over on Patreon. We couldn't do it without you guys. Um, lots of people really curious about uh, the pics of 47. And here is... An interview with 47's new Secretary of Defense, Pete Hegseth. And so let us listen to these words. All of its war games against China, we lose every time. Inside the Pentagon war games. If we know what our real capability You see, we didn't even get to this part of the war on words. I mean, the military industrial complex, the way we procure weapons systems, um, you know, we're, we're always. The way our system works, the way our bureaucratic system works, the speed of weapons procurement works, we're always a decade behind in fighting the last war. Whereas China, there we have a, we have you know what did Rumsfeld say? You go to the war the army you have. Uh, we have the ar China's building an army specifically dedicated to defeating the United States of America. That is that is their strategic outset. Take hypersonic missiles. So if our whole if our, our whole power projection platform is aircraft carriers and the ability to project power that way strategically around the globe. Yeah, we have a nuclear triad and all that, but a big part of it. And if, you know, 15 hypersonic missiles can take out 10 aircraft carriers in the first 20 minutes of a conflict, all of its war games. Okay, so obviously he is young. He feels um, dynamic, energetic, prime of life. Um, you, you can see here Trump's defense choice stuns the Pentagon, raises questions about the Fox News host experience, as, as this is him right here interviewing 47. And here's another view of him uh, as he speaks at the uh, 2023 Fox Nation Patriot Awards. Uh, so, you know, again, what to expect what to expect this is talking about setting the record straight okay you know he is still an active member of the army national guard hold, holding the rank of major he's not just any veteran he has received two bronze stars holds a combat infantryman badge academic credentials top notch a ba from princeton and an mpp from harvard Deeply involved in veterans' charities, showing his commitment to those who served. Maybe the preference is for career politicians or with those with no real combat experience. But here's somebody that has, you know, literally walked the walk, as you could see, uh, you know, a photo again from when he was deployed. So a career, quote unquote, warrior. Let's listen to this. This is also him speaking here. Anyone that wants to take the stage and talk about dual loyalty is dead wrong. What this organization represents, what Western civilization represents today, is an under, understanding that Zionism and Americanism are the front lines of Western civilization and freedom in our world today. And, and what better time for that relationship? From the scrapping of the terrible Iran deal to the embassy move, the recognition of Jerusalem as the capital of the Jewish state, and the recognition of the Golan Heights. This president is a true friend of the state of Israel. It is an eternal bond, an unbreakable bond, that represents faith and freedom and fidelity to historic religious and, and cultural traditions, the opposite of secularism and Islamism and anti-Semitism. I, I, I don't want to be Jeb Bush, but it's okay to clap. Okay, and over here, in case uh, you were curious about his tattoo or you made note, Deus Volt. That's interesting. Deus. Immediately, Deus has to do with God, right? For those who didn't know what it means, Deus Volt, which is Latin, God wills it. 
it's a Christian motto relating to divine providence. In fact, um, it, he goes on, I've got Deus Volt, God wills it, which was the cry of the crusaders on my bicep. My entire peck is a Jerusalem cross. Israel, Christianity, and my faith are things I care uh, deeply about. Uh, he goes on to say, My orders were evoked to guard the Biden inauguration Jerusalem cross tattoo, which is just a Christian symbol. This is the one right here is what it got to be disinvited. I never had orders revoked before. So, yeah, this is your... Um, this is your new Secretary of Defense. Yeah, absolutely. You know, again, feel into the energies. Feel into the energies. That's all we can really do is, is try to awaken people to feel into the energies. And uh, please do share what you feel and what you think. What are your thoughts on this particular pick? And I, I picked the kitty. I picked the kitty and I picked the puppy every time all day every day and twice on sunday absolutely we will always take uh peace true peace uh against division and war any day as always guys thanks for your support look forward to your comments source bless and namaste namaste